What's going on guys? It's Shane. We are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Danbury East, possibly for the last time. If you didn't know, Mooncrest has just shut down, officially, I do believe. Um, but they published one last update uh, before they said goodbye. So um, we're here to check that out today. I think I've done two or three videos on this game, but um, here's some of the changes. So they added a 2023 CE electric power, or yeah, electric pure battery power. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so we're going to definitely drive that today. Um, and then there was a whole bunch of more changes. I'm not going to read them all, but you can see them here. Um, yep, development has officially ended. So, um, okay, 2, 23, uh, oh, here we go. So very few, actually, not very many. But there's, as you can see, there's four slots right here. This is really cool, though. What does this say? Hi there. These chargers are for cosmetic purposes only. Okay, so they don't charge the bus. But here's the outside storage compartments, which. Look pretty nice. Never seen them in the back like this before, but uh, not bad. Um, this is different. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So we'll close that. Um, if you don't know, when you spawn into a bus like this, all you have to do is press Y, and then you'll be down here. So, um... So as far as interior goes, uh, it's very simple. Uh, this appears to be kind of like a decal f of the gauges and whatnot, but that's okay. Um, switches to our left, parking brake, shifter to our right. Um, but the outside looks very, very nice. And you can hear the engine there. Let's see. Ambers and the reds. Oh, that door sounds awesome. Cross arm, electric powered. And it's got this like wing on the back or whatever. I don't know what those are for. I see those all the time, but I don't know what they're for. It's kind of like a, I almost want to say spoiler, but I don't know if it serves the same purpose or not. <clears throat> okay. Let's go. Let's get started. Um, so there was a new park, which is to our, I think it's over there. Yeah, you can see it from here. Uh, there's the training course. I think that got an update too, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Sorry for no upload yesterday. Uh, been a busy day, honestly. Look at this antenna right here. Okay. Uh, it's probably going to be a quick video. I just wanted to get a video out today um, because I think the rest of my week is actually pretty busy. I'm going to be off Tuesday and Wednesday, though, so um, I'm thinking about starting a new series <clears throat> for ATS, um, and it's basically just going to be um, kind of a road to owner operator type thing um i want to start from like the beginning um and then possibly get my own truck i think that would be fun to do um <clears throat> it'll definitely be fun to make um because i actually i love ats i don't i remember back in the day when the game came out and i had a laptop i tried getting it and i did get it but if she ever tried to play ats on keyboard it's not the greatest thing so 
for a long time I ended up playing it on a controller, which was pretty fun. And then I got a wheel. That changed everything. It was very, very fun. <clears throat> I wish I could play it in VR, though. That'd be sick. Okay, why aren't we... There we go. We were stuck. There's a trailer park here. I do believe that's new. We'll go inside of it here. We'll actually probably get a screenshot here because this actually looks pretty nice. Oh yeah, we definitely will. Oh, there's an invisible wall. Oh, uh, why? There's like an invisible wall going through there, but okay. I'm gonna take a screenshot probably right here. That'll work. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get through over here. Oh, it's a cul-de-sac. That's gonna be pretty difficult. Okay, let's try this. Try not to destroy anybody's trailer here. Oh boy. Uh, you know, I started thinking about getting a CDL and everything. I could do it. Uh, if you don't know, the process here in Kentucky is not the hardest at all. Uh, the Actually, the hardest thing is probably, honestly... Probably just paying everything. I think it brings. I think it. I think the total's like three hundred when everything's covered. Um, I think that's the total of like everything. But I could do that. Thing is, I I I do like school buses. But the thing is, I don't like children. I remember, like back when I was in middle school, dude. I hated riding the bus. Uh, straight, mainly because I had no friends on the bus. Uh, every All my friends rode different buses, uh, which was a major inconvenience. It really was. Um, and the amount of shit that the bus driver used to get w was beyond me. Uh, but pardon my language, but seriously. Um, if, if that were me, I would not be able to control what what would come out of my mouth or anything like that. You know, I might just, like, straight up kick the kid off my bus. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. But it was the constant yelling. Everything. It, it was bad. It was really bad. And I don't think I could do that. That's, like, the only downside to driving a bus. I, it really is. Unless, you know, it's doing it for, like... Yeah, I know you can't really choose your, you know, who you wish to pick up, uh, you know, because I think they pick up, like, all kids, like, kindergarten, or people in elementary, middle school, and high school, and that's just, I wouldn't be able to do that, no way. You know, if I could listen to music while I do that, but th that's a problem, too. I wouldn't be able to do that either, because they'd be yelling in the back while I'm trying to listen to music up in the front. I've only had one good experience on a school bus, and that was, <clears throat> we all, it was kind of like an after-school program, but we all kind of just, the bus driver was pretty chill, and he turned on 101 for us, and it was, it was pretty cool. He was pretty cool. Now, I will tell you, the uh, early morning bus rides, where it's still dark out, those are pretty chill, because nobody's talking when, uh, Pretty much nobody's really talking in the morning. It's just the afternoons where it gets pretty crazy. They'd have fights breaking out. I guess it also just depends on the district. I wonder if you were to drive for like a magnet school. I wonder if they'd be any more obedient. <laughs> I don't know. Uh -huh. Uh, 
All right, we're going to pull into the high school once we get there. But yeah, no, I, I could not do that. Uh, if I were to get my CDL, it'd be for uh, something, semi-trucks or something like that, for sure. That might be something I'll be interested to do, though, because even if I don't use it, it's always nice to have, I guess. But I don't know anybody who goes to... You know, it goes through the process of getting a CDL and don't actually use it. But it is what it is. But uh, if you if you want to, feel free to uh, share some of your good and bad uh, school bus um, experiences in the comments. Uh, mine were pretty much all bad, so. Hated the school bus. School bus sucks. <clears throat> gonna be pulling in here, and then we're gonna wrap up the video. I'll probably do another video on this game sometime. I don't know. It kind of sucks that they shut down now. But, yeah, that was um, kind of an update video and the closure video, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, it probably won't be my last one for this game. Uh, but it was a route in the new um, 2023 electric CE. So, not bad. Um, if you guys do just play the game yourself, we'll be linked in the description down below. With that being said, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.